Hello guys, in the last video I have shown you how to use include and require function to include files in your PHP program. So I have shown you how to use this include function and this require function. And what I was doing, I was just including this simple header to it and I was just including this PHP variables to my page 1 and page 2, right? Now, for example, Oh, first of all, in what I'm going to do in this video or what I'm going to teach in this video is uh, include once and require once variable. And let's see why uh, we can use or why we need to use uh, these include once and require once uh, variable. I will give you a small dem demo. So for example, I have this include header.php which is this one in my page one dot php i included this and i will just refresh this and it gives me programming knowledge which is a message or which is the header in the header file and whatever message i am printing here which is this one right now for example somebody uh, or by mistake i included this uh, header file more than once right i will save it and i will refresh my page and what it's done is it has included this header file three times and I will be able to see this header three times, right? But sub sometimes you don't want to, uh, you know, see this. So what you can do is you can uh, use include once or require once function. So for example, I will write include underscore once and this takes this bracket and inside this bracket you can pass the same header file name okay but still I have declared this include once here which includes this header file but still I am in uh, I'm also using this include function also and let's see what happens the result is it included this header file using include once function once so we can see this message and it also included this uh, header file using include function so you we see this message two times right but for example we just cut this code and paste it below your include program and let's see what happens now and now you will be able to see it is uh, just printing once. So what this include once ensure that that you have only included this header file once. Okay. So whenever you want to include your header file once, use this include once function. Okay. Same you can do it with require and require once. So you have this uh, require function in page 2.php and I can just use require underscore once function and I can use this header name here and whenever I call this page 2.php it will only include this uh, header file once again only once right so this will work with require also and include also so just remember that if you want to include your header file once just use this in, in, include once or require once or if you don't care about including your header file more than once then you use this require so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now